I'm recording a YouTube video right now, so don't say anything too crazy. Bro, you're the one who keeps saying the wildest stuff. Don't play Mr. Nice Guy now that you're recording. Why are you even recording? Well, I lost a bet, and I gotta post a YouTube video, and whatever the most liked comment on it says, I must do. Damn, bro, that's tough. You already know I'll be 24-7 in the comments liking the best ones. Please go easy on me. You're Donnie. Yes, sleepy koala? How does it feel to be the orange race? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. How is it like? Huh? What the hell are you two squirrels talking about? Like, for example, me and high school I would get picked on for being black and me I never got stopped by cops what was it like for you like did anyone mistake you for an orange and try to peel your skin and eat you what of course not are you guys okay bro it's okay relax we don't want to make fun of you yeah we're just trying to understand what it's like to be the orange race I'm not even that orange you guys are exaggerating so much pull up an orange let's compare all right we don't have to do all that here you go Shit. It looks pretty orange to me bro wait put it up to your actual skin Bro is more orange than an orange. No, that's actually crazy. All right, all right, enough. Do you have like a word for orange people, like the N-word, but for orange folks? Bro, you're pushing it now, okay, relax. You must hear about this. The Mexican government had a hearing where two actual alien bodies were revealed to the public. Wait, what? It's always those damn Mexicans, man, I'm telling you. Shut up, you racist sack of potatoes. Obama, show me a picture of the aliens. I don't believe you. Here you go, bro. Oh, what the hell is this thing that's literally a freaking alien? Why are you surprised? We literally played bowling with this dude's cousin inside of the White House yesterday. Really? I forgot already. Of course you did, and that's not even the real picture. I'll show you the real one right now. What do you mean? That's literally the official... This is the real picture of the alien. What the... You also forgot to mention that the alien's body is 1,000 years old, just like Joe's. All right, they did actually say that the alien is 1,000 years old, but that's not the official picture. Wait, hold on. This guy kind of looks like me. That's so weird. Yes, Joe, you look alike because you're the same age. Do you think the public will freak out about this? Bro, the public doesn't give a single shit. They got bills to pay. They're already making memes look, they made him look like that grandma from SpongeBob. Guys, did you also notice that other alien looks a lot like me? Oh my God, Joe. Shut the hell up, it was a joke. Donnie, you are officially under arrest. Again, what did I do this time? Donnie, can you stay a week without getting in trouble? What's wrong with you? You are under arrest for using the N-word without having an N-word pass. All right, I guess that's fair. It was me, it was me. I was the one who said it. Arrest me, not him. Huh? Joe, what are you doing? How dare you say that word, Joe? I thought you were better than that. I was off my pills and I got carried away and I said it, I'm sorry. I deserve to go to jail. What the? But we have video proof of Donnie saying it. No, no, it was not him, uh... It was me. I was wearing a mask. Joe, are you all right? Yeah, it was me. Arrest me, please. Something doesn't feel right. But in the video, you were standing next to him. How could you be wearing a mask of Donnie's face and also being next to him? Uh, uh, I was wearing a mask of Donnie's face and he was wearing a mask of my face. Is that true, Donnie? Uh, yes, of course it's true. Please don't put me in jail again. All right then. Joe, you are officially under arrest. Oh my God. Yes, yes, I'm so excited. <clears throat> Oop, my shift is over. Tyrone, can you arrest Joe for me, please? Sure thing. Come here, boy. No! Boys, would you rather have access to GTA 6 early if it meant you can never speak to any of your kids again? Give me that GTA 6 right now, bro. Donnie, there's no way. Here you go. I'll take the GTA 6 as well. Here, you're welcome. Thanks, beast. Donnie, hop online and eat your ass. I mean, beat it. I will beat your ass at GTA 6. You're weird, bro. All right, I'm getting on. You guys are out of your minds for choosing GTA 6 over your kids. Obama, what do you choose? Obviously, I choose to still talk to my kids, bro. Come on, I'm not a lunatic like those two. Obama's kids will live. Cancel the executions. The what? My oldest son owed me $20. You're Donnie, I wrote a poem for you. Want to hear it? Oh, that's so beautiful, Joe. Oh, Joey, I'm flattered. Let's hear it. I am a dog, and you are a flower. I lift my leg up and give you a shower. Well, that was unexpected. All right, check mine out. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. Oh, that was ass. That made no sense. Check mine out. It's dedicated to you, Obama. Roses are red, violets are blue, faces like yours belong in a zoo. Don't worry, I'll be there too. Not in the cage, but laughing at you. Good stuff. Check mine out. It's dedicated to you, Donnie. Grass is green. Trees are greener. When I think of you, I play with my wiener. All right, I'm sick of you idiots. I'm going to record my most viral video yet. What did you just call me? Hey, don't disrespect me like that. Where am I? You have no idea what's coming for you. Donnie, would you rather me give you $1 trillion or five Big Macs with extra cheese? Oh, my God. This is the hardest choice of my life. <laughs> No way you're crying over a Big Mac. Donald, this is the easiest choice ever. Just get the money and buy unlimited Big Macs. But I want the Big Macs now. I can't handle the pressure. Donnie! What happened to him? He exploded from all the pressure. One down, two to go. You are insane. That's not gonna work on us, beast. You think you're tough? Joe, would you rather have unlimited ice cream or go into deep hibernation and sleep for as long as you want to? Hey. Joe, just pick one quick. It doesn't matter which one. I can't deal with this. Uh... Joe! 
one more to go. All right, listen up here, Mr. Beast. Nothing you can possibly say will work on me. I have everything I need. You will not make me break, no matter what comes out of your mouth. Do you understand? Infinite KFC or watermelon. <laughs> Subscribe or you're next. Obama, help! What's wrong? I was out fishing with Donnie and he suddenly collapsed and fell to the ground. Holy crap, is he okay? I don't know. He might have had a heart attack from all the Big Macs. What do I do? <gasps> okay, okay, relax. We can still save him. How? Oh! Just follow my instructions. Firstly, is he still breathing? I don't know, man. He's so fat, I can't tell. We can restart his heart with electroshock, but first, we gotta make sure he's actually dead. Okay, hold up a second. Okay, now what? Today we're playing Would You Rather. I'll go first. Would you rather bring back slavery or start World War III? Damn, bro. Is this really how you want to start this? Yes, I choose bring back slavery. I choose World War III. Me too. This one's going to be easy. Feed starving kids in Africa or get a pet goldfish? Goldfish is made out of gold, so I'll have to choose goldfish. Goldfish are super cute, so I'm going to have to choose that as well. I choose to feed the kids. Are you guys insane? Okay, would you rather have a clown constantly chasing you or have 6,000 pigeons constantly chasing you? I'll choose the clown for sure. Me, I prefer the pigeons. They're also cute. I choose the clown because I'ma eat his ass. Sorry about that. I took Joe's pills by accident again. Would you rather solve racism or be Spider-Man? Not gonna lie, I'm old as a dinosaur. Some spidey senses would be really helpful. Seriously, Joe, I expected more from you. I choose to solve racism. Obviously, I'd be Spider-Man. I don't even have to say this. All right, see everything as black and white or see everything as a blur? See everything as black and white so I can call everyone a Nick Trump. I already see everything as a blur, so I choose a blur. Black and white for me. All right, have unlimited V-Bucks or save an unknown child? V-Bucks. 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 What do you call a black Chinese seahorse that is also racist. What the? Is this another racist joke? No, no, I promise it's not. But it's my funniest joke if you can figure it out. This one's hard. A black Chinese seahorse that is also racist. Donald Trump? Nope. You just admitted you're racist. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You're not even black. Just shush and help me figure out what Joe is talking about. Come on, guys. It's super easy if you think about it. I literally have no idea. A ninja? Nope. Give us a hint or just say the punchline. I can't give you a hint since it will ruin my perfect joke. I know. A chihuahua. Nope. I give up. Me too. So what do you call a black Chinese seahorse that is also racist? What is it? Joe? Say the punchline, Joe. Joe, what is the punchline? I forgot. Boys, my pregnancy test results came out and it says 27. What does that mean? You're pregnant? No dumbass, not him, his wife. Actually, it's me. Well, I think. I'm not sure what 27 means. Wait, what the hell? How did you get pregnant? Long story, bro. It was a wild night out with the boys, if you know what I'm saying. No, Joe, we do not freaking know what you're saying, bro. What does 27 mean? That's a weird result for a pregnancy test. It shouldn't supposed to be a number. Maybe you're having 27 babies. Damn, I'm going to spawn a whole football team. Are you sure it says 27? Usually it's either negative or positive. I'm 100% sure, bro. The only thing that came out positive was the IQ test that I had. What is the most messed up thing that you guys did back in school? Oh man, I have the craziest school stories. Fun fact, actually, I got expelled 27 times. Not gonna lie, I was also pretty wild in my school days. No one is wilder than me. One time I filled the bathroom sinks with water and released 12 goldfish in there. That is such a Joe thing to do. That's nothing, bro. One time I brought a bald eagle in my backpack to school and released it in class. Everyone freaked out. Two girls had a heart attack and the eagle snapped the eye of the teacher off. Damn, bro, there's something wrong with you. Nah, for real. That's beyond just a prank. I remember we had this math teacher we used to drive crazy and one day we made her quit her job because we came to class all riled up after gym class and we threw a school desk out the fourth floor. What? What if it hits someone in the head? We can't talk about that. What do you mean? Statue of limitations. I can't talk about this. The desk fell on someone's head? I plead the fifth. Obama, your turn. Have I told you about the time I had a fight with this Chinese kid? It's the craziest story ever. You have not told us. What happened? I got in a fight with this Chinese dude so I drone strike the school. Boy! Please, please help me. I'm so scared. What's wrong? There was a raccoon in my backyard and I kidnapped him and put him in my basement. So what? Turns out the raccoon can speak English and he's saying he's from space and that he's going to get revenge on me for kidnapping him. You have a talking raccoon in your basement? Yes, and he has a gun. Joe, for the love of God, take your pills already. There is no talking space raccoon with a gun in your freaking basement. I promise it's real. I'm so scared. What should I do? Here, Joe, take this and the raccoon will go back to space. Let's go check your basement and then put you to sleep. All right, Joey? All right. See, there's nothing here. The raccoon magically disappeared after you took your pills. What a coincidence. Who could have thought about that, right? Look behind you. Huh? huh? Suck my fat raccoon dick. Guys, I lost a bet. I must nuke New York or California in the next 10 seconds or all states get auto-nuked. What? How did you get access to the nuke codes? You did not change the password. It was still 42069. Help me which state should I choose? Quick. Can't you just nuke North Dakota or something? No, I can't. Six seconds left. Just nuke New York. It's filled with rats anyways. 
But I can't, they got the best pizza. Then do California. I can't, they got the best burgers. Three seconds left. Holy crap, just choose one quick, it doesn't matter. Do California. I sent the nuke. Where did you send it? California. Good man, I never liked Wait, I'm in California. Boys, if I was an animal, which one would I be in your opinion? Honestly, I think you'd be a cool, cute little dinosaur. Don't lie to him, you'd be a sleepy, lazy sloth or a 300-year-old turtle. Why are you like this? He asked a simple, interesting question. Yeah, you're always so mean. I apologize right now. All right, Joe, I'm sorry. I just wanted for your turn to be over, so you compare me next. Good. Donnie, I think you'd be Garfield the cat. You're both fat and orange. Joe, behave. I take my apology back. You are literal fossil fuel, Joe. Enough. All right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to get back at you. Good. Donnie, if you were an animal, you'd be a giraffe. Thanks, I guess. What about me? What animal would I be? You know what? Today is the day I stop with this racism stuff. I'm not gonna say the obvious joke here. I'm better than that. If you were an animal, my friend, you would be a beautiful monkey. You know what, guys? You are my best friends. I love you so much. We love you too, Joey. You treat me so good. I would be devastated if something happened to you. Oh, look, a shooting star, make a wish. Bro, that's coming kind of close, isn't it? It does look like it is coming. No. Joe. Joe. Oh my God. Joe. 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 Joe, wake, Joe, wake your sleepy, sleepy ass, ass up. up. We're going to McDonald's. Did you seriously fall asleep again? I'm sorry, I just... Joe, is everything all right? You were screaming in your sleep. I just had a bad dream, that's all. This bozo is so old, he was probably dreaming about dinosaurs. Ha, 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 that's funny, because it could be true, you know? I just had a flashback to my old friends. I miss him so much. What do you mean? What happened to them? Oh, like you don't know Obama. What are you talking about? What old friends? How dare you have friends before you met us? If I tell you, you'll just make fun of me, so I won't. Whatever. Okay, we're here. Yes, can I have 17 Big Mac menus, 19 McChickens, 87, 20... Obama, you stupid! Huh? huh? Your great grandpa comet strike my friends. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Jonathan Biddy, and today we're playing Would You Press the Button? Joe, are you okay? What has happened? The rules are simple. I provide you with two options, and you press the button only if you want these options to become true. All right, this sounds interesting, actually. Let's play. Would you press the button to have an unlimited amount of food, but world hunger gets two times worse? Absolutely freaking not. That's insane. Let's freaking go! Infinite Big Macs, baby! No way you press that. You're a billionaire. I don't care. It's free food. Stop yapping, you idiots. Round two. Would you press the button for $100,000, but the other player gets thrown into an active volcano? No, man. To be honest, I really need the money right now, but you are such a great friend, Donnie. There is no way I'm pressing that button. Uh... 100K, baby, let's go! Boys, would you rather live in the country of Africa or the country of Mexico? Wow, I honestly don't know which country is worse. What in the... You must pick one country. Africa is full of Obama's people, but in Mexico, everything is orange. Just like you. What are you talking about? Africa is not a country. What? what? Africa is a continent. You stupid idiots. What the hell is a continent? I think that's the new McDonald's burger. A continent is a big place where there are multiple countries. But how could there be multiple countries inside the country of Africa? Yeah, that makes no sense. Obama, there's no way you don't know about your own country. Because it's not a country. Yes, it is. Everyone knows that. There's no way Africa is a conspiracy theory. Africa is not a freaking conspiracy theory. It's real, but it's not a country. But I've seen so many memes about Africa. Yeah, me too. Like the one with the water. The what? Yes, because it is real. A real Continent. Damn, that sucks that it's not a country. I hope they declare their independence soon. As a president of the United States, I officially declare Africa as a country. Yo, Biden, truth or dare? I ain't no bitch. I choose dare. I dare you to say the N-word. Damn, bro, seriously? Yes, go ahead. I'm waiting. Fine. Nick. Hi, guys. What are you up to? Oh, nothing much. Joe was just about to say something. What is it? Um... Say it, Joe, since you're so brave. I was about to say... About to say what? Say it. I was about to say, um... Say it, mister. I ain't no bitch. What's wrong? What were you about to say? It was the... He was about to say a new word that he just learned. Wow, Joe, you are expanding your vocabulary. I'm so proud. Good job to you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, thanks. What was the word that you learned? It was the nerd. The what? We didn't hear you, Joe. I was about to say nice gash. Are you having a stroke? And the word was nerd You. We can't understand you, Joe. Say it louder. The word I was about to say was nigibzuja. What? He was about to say nig... Boys, what has five toes but isn't your foot? All right, this is freaking enough, Donald. No more N-word jokes. What? It's not an N-word joke. It always is. We know how you are. You have pushed it too far. It's a silly, dumb joke. It's not racist. Yeah? Well, I don't believe you, so you can't say it. It's a silly joke. There's always a twist. Oh my god, why don't you guys freaking believe me? Because you always lie. You always laugh at my N-word jokes before you get pissed off anyways. No, we don't. Yes, you do. Literally every time. And you never laugh at my other jokes. We always laugh when a joke is not racist. Literally never. I can prove it right now. All right, then say it. If it's racist, you are done. All right. What has five toes but isn't your foot? What? My foot.
Nick. Boys, I got fired from the new job I got. Already? You started working there a week ago. What happened? The situation is kind of messed up. I worked at an orphanage, right? Yeah. And you know me, man. It happens to me sometimes. I forget stuff. I wouldn't say sometimes, more like always, but go on. Basically, what happened was I had a nap at the orphanage, and when I woke up, I didn't know where I was. They fired you over a nap? No, no. I kept seeing kids everywhere crying, and I didn't know what was wrong. Oh, no. Please don't tell me you did what I think you did. Naturally, I went up to the kids crying, and I kept kept asking them where their parents are. You deserve jail time. At least you didn't sleep. Boys, help quick. I lost a bet with Mr. Beast, and I must choose between sitting on a frog and eating dick or sitting on a dick and eating a frog. How the hell did you get yourself in that situation? Long story. Sit on the frog and eat that dick like a real man. But what if the frog jumps and crawls inside my ass? All right, Joe, you don't have to be so explicit. Are there no other options? The other option is to take my dementia pills. Well, we all know that's not happening. Exactly. Sit on the frog and eat the dick. You know what? I'm more than a real man. I'll do both. Boys, since you're always so mean to each other today, we're going to switch it up. Whoever gives the best compliments wins $1 billion. Wow. This will be so wholesome. Am I able to compliment Joe for a billion? Begin. Joe, I have known you for years, and I would change absolutely nothing about you. Our friendship has only gotten better with time, just like a fine wine. Wow, Obama, that really touched my heart. Trump, you were always there for me. You are the rock in my life. Wow, Obama, you're going to make me cry. Wow, this is wholesome. Obama, you are my best friend. We've faced life storms together, and you've always been my anchor. Holy moly, are you guys poets? As for you, Donnie, we might always fight, but you're also my best friend, and you've always been there for me no matter what. Thank you, Joey. I really appreciate that. This is way too wholesome. Obama, you are one of my favorite people. You've not only been my friend, but also a mentor and a source of inspiration. Wow, Don, you're making me cry. Holy moly, I'm praying this won't end with an insult. As for you, Joey, we are the yin and yang, polar opposites, but still both needed and required for one another. You are my best friend and my secret favorite person. Oh my goodness, thank you, Don Don. Wow, you get a billion each. Joe, if hypothetically you've been dating a girl for five years and it turns out she got a pee pee, what would you do? Oh man, this is hard. Hell yeah, it would be hard, because I would have just hit the jackpot. Oh, what the hell? Think about it, bro. Two in one. She looks like a girl and she got a pee pee. What more could you ask for? Oh, man, you're deranged. Joe, are you gay? No, man. That's not gay. That's having good taste. I regret asking that stupid question. Joe, man, Obama told me what happened yesterday. You should really start taking those pills, bro. I agree, man. I mean, when has it gone too far? Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. Bro, you were so out of pocket for that one. I don't even know if I can say what you did out loud. You guys are exaggerating. No, man, we're being super serious. This is gone too far. It's time we put an end to this. All right, what's the difference between your advice and ice cream? Huh? Joe, this has nothing to do with this. Answer me and I may take my pills. This is so stupid. I got no idea, Joe. What is the difference between our advice and ice cream, Joe? The difference is I asked for the ice cream. Boys, I made a YouTube channel. Can you please help me make a video on this new trend? Joe the YouTuber, who would have thought... Sure, what do you want us to do? We're gonna watch this video and we're just gonna react to it. All right. Sure. McNug, nug, McNigga. What? Oh Lord, I can't stop myself Joe, what biggest, is this? But they always come with this sussy cream. Yep, with what? Heard me right. Sussy cream. What the f***? What sussy cream? <laughs> Where did you find this video? The dark web, bro. 63%? America. America, baby. Oh, hey, I'm that country's president. America, of course. Hell yeah, baby. Joe, what was that first one? It's no like idea. <laughs> Thirstiest time of the year. Go, 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 or Pepsi. Bro, what is happening to the AI? Pepsi. Pepsi. Right. Hell yeah. Bad luck for 10 years uh -uh, or no follow way. us. You won't regret it. Follow 100%. Me too, bro. 10 years is way too much. Subscribe. Boys, whoever can guess which animal I'm thinking of wins this super expensive flying car. Wow. This looks fast. Give us a hint. The animal has 10 toes. Wow, this was not helpful. Is it a sea or land animal? Joe, have you seen any fish with 10 freaking toes? I've never seen a fish in my life. Is the animal a lion? Nope, but it has fur. Lions have paws, not toes. Shut up. Is it a cow? Nope, it's smaller than that. Does it fly? Nope, the animal does not fly. It's a flying squirrel. Joe, he literally just said it doesn't fly. Is it a rat? Nope, it's bigger than a rat. It's a normal squirrel. Nope, it's even bigger than that. Crap, what could this be? I really want the car. Is it a gorilla? No, nope, but you're close. It's a monkey. Yes, congrats, you won. How do I fly this thing? Ah! <laughs> Trump, what you eating over there? Joe's grandma came by my house and left me some cookies she made. They're absolutely delicious. Wait, don't tell me you're eating those cookies. Did she mistake your house for mine? I think she did. Why? Trump, those are not normal cookies. What type of cookies are these? Those are special type of cookies. Yeah, especially delicious. No, bro, you will start seeing things. Oh, crap. Seeing what? When? You might talk to a version of yourself from a different universe. How many did you eat? Like 798. How did you? Oh, it's so over for you. What do you mean? 
Joe? Joe! Yo, what's up, man? Want to build a wall? Boys, I need help. What's wrong? The power in my house went out, and I can't find the switch to turn it back on. I think I remember from last time I was at your house where the switches are. Oh, thank God. Where do I go? I'm so scared of the dark. From your room, go left, then right, and it should be the sixth switch in the second row. Oh, God, that's so much information. Don't worry, Joe. You got this. All right, I'm here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, six. Crap. Joe, that's the national alarm. Oh, bro, everyone's going to start panicking. Wait, let me try again. Nothing happened. I just got a text from Justin Bieber saying the lights are out in California. Tell him my bad. He says all good, homie. I can't find the correct one. I'm pretty sure it's the second one from the top. Let me see, um, one, two, three, two, two, seven, two. Joe, why did the lights at my house go out? I don't know, did you click something? Why can you turn off Trump's lights from your house? So I can scare him at night. Turn it back on. Turn on the second lever, not the freaking seventh. One, eight, nine, four, two. Did you guys hear that? What the hell was that? I think I sent off a nuke to Mexico. All right, nobody cares then. Try again. Oh, God, where is this one going to? Welcome back, boys. What would you rather today? Mystery box number one or number two? Hmm. What's inside them? It's a mystery box, Joe. The whole point is you don't know what's inside Well, how am I going to choose then? Oh, my God, Jimmy, give me mystery box number one. Are you sure? Yes, Jimmy, I have a feeling this is the best choice. Congrats, you just won seven Lamborghinis. Holy crap, I picked the correct box. Do you want to see what you missed out on? Sure. Box number two had 89 fighter drones and $78 trillion. Wow, that sucks. All right, Jimmy, I feel like this is a trick and that the next best mystery box will be number one. I choose one. Congrats, you just won $18 trillion and seven skyscrapers in New York City. Wow, I was correct. What did I miss out on? Seven supercars or something minor like that? You could have won the Great Wall of China and seven N-word passes. Oh man, that sucks. Boys, which one should I pick? Choose number two since it has been the best box so far. Yeah, I agree. But I want to pick number one. That's the wrong choice, Joe. Pick number two. All right, I choose box number two. Congrats, you just won the state of Alaska. Wow, surely I picked the correct one. What did I miss out on? You could have won one ice cream cone. This was the worst choice ever. Boys, by which mutant spider would you rather get bitten by? Why would I want to get bitten by a spider? Yeah, that doesn't sound nice. Is there a catch? Yes, if you get bitten by the red spider, you can shoot out flames from your fingertips and mouth. Also, you are able to control all fire. Holy smokes. Literally. That sounds like the best deal ever. Can the fire burn me? No, fire does not affect you. No way the blue spider is better than this. If you get bitten by the blue spider, you can create water from your fingertips, which you can turn into ice. Also, you control all water and you can breathe underwater. The red spider is way better. Controlling fire is way cooler than water. There must be another catch. There is. If you get bitten by the red spider, there is a 50% chance you will die. This is getting tricky. I'm old as a rock, so who cares? I live the best life possible, but spawning fire is so freaking cool. What are the chances of death for the blue spider? It's 20%. If I pick the blue spider, I can supply water to everyone in Africa and save billions of lives. That's lame as hell. Give me the red spider. Here you go. Risk it for the biscuit. Give me the red spider. Here. Damn, I'll make the correct choice. Give me the blue spider. Of course. Oh, this will be so cool. Ooh. Boys, I joined the biggest competition on the planet. Damn, what does the winner get? The winner wins Australia and a 700 feet statue of themselves in Las Vegas. Holy crap, how do I join? You can't join anymore, but I need your help to win this. What must you do to win? I must get 100 million followers in 10 days. That's impossible, bro. How are you gonna do this? I have absolutely no idea. This is so difficult. This is so easy, boys. What do you mean? How am I gonna do this? All you have to do is get 100 million people to follow you? Yeah. Just run through Africa with a bottle of water. Boys, guess what I did? Nothing that will land you back in jail again, hopefully. I followed my passion and dreams and I opened a McDonald's store. Good job, Donnie. I also need your guys' help for it. Wow, Donnie, good for you. What do you need our help for? I want you guys to work with me. Sure. And because I love you guys so much, both of you will also work your dream jobs. Joe will work the ice cream machine and Obama will bomb strike anyone that leaves a bad review. Holy crap. This is the best deal ever. I'm glad you guys love my idea. Let's get to work. The next day. Our first customer is approaching. Be ready. Hello, can I have a Big Mac meal and one Mac free? please. Absolutely. Here's your Big Mac meal and go to the next window for your McFlurry. Thank you, sir. Hello, I'm here for my McFlurry. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir, wake up. You're working. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I am definitely leaving a bad review on this place. Stupid ice cream guy was sleeping on the job. Boys, I found a new roommate. Hopefully this one is normal and not a complete weirdo like the last one you had. Well, he's not completely normal, but he's fun, and that's all that matters. He's half roommate, half my pet. Half your pet? What the hell do you mean? Do we know him? Maybe. Yo, Rocky, come here. My friends want to meet you. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Is that a dog? <laughs> I think it's a monkey. I'm black. 
Is that racist for him to say? I don't know. Where the hell did you find this man? I was at a parking lot and he approached me and started sniffing me, so I brought him back home with me. That's so weird, bro. Yeah, man, there's something wrong with you. It's not weird, you're just jealous of my new friend. What do you even do together? Don't worry about that. Rocky, show us what you do with Donnie. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do it. I'm gonna let you, it's open. Bro, what the hell? Donnie, are you serious? There's something wrong with you, bro. Stop it, you are jealous. Rocky, do you like being Donald's roommate or do you have nightmares at night? Try and remember what you guys do together. Remember the video where I said whatever the top comment on it says I will do? Yeah. Well, I think it's time I finally do what he says. And what did the top comment say? Well, it's worse than I expected. Crap. Do you have to nuke a country or something? I wish, bro. It's even worse. Worse than that? Is it saying the N-word? Nope. Donald had actually commented on his own video from his fake account that he must say the N-word. But thankfully, I caught him and deleted the comment at 100,000 likes. Damn, Donnie, you really did that? Fake news. So what is it? The top comment was, be nice to Joe for a whole day. Oh my goodness. This is great. I love this. I love this too. I am so excited. Why don't you give Joe some compliments for a start? Yippee. Joe, you are actually very funny. I love having you as a friend. Wow, thank you, Donnie. I love having you as my friend as well. This is so nice. You also have some very beautiful blue eyes. Oh my god, Donnie, you are making me flush. This is so beautiful. Do you want to play GTA together? You are so good at it. Oh my god, will you finally let me play with you? Uh, this is the best day ever. This might be the best thing to ever happen. I would hate for this day to be over. Okay, guys, let's Let's get this started. What's the best snack? Potato chips, hands down. No way, popcorn is the best. Mm, I don't know, I think candy might be the best. Candy? That's not even a proper snack. It's just a sugar rush. Yeah, I agree with Don. Candy is not a real snack. All right, what about granola bars? Those are healthy and tasty. Granola bars are boring as hell. You need something with a crunch. Popcorn has a crunch and it's also light and flavorful. But what about potato chips? You can have so many different flavors and they're always satisfying. Exactly, you can't go wrong with chips. But popcorn is better for you. You can eat a lot of it without feeling guilty. Mm, I see your points, but I'm still going to say candy is the best. Candy is not a snack, Joe. Yeah, it's more like a dessert. Fine, I guess I'll go with potato chips then. Now we're talking. I still think popcorn is the winner. Feastables is the best snack. All right, Trump, since you're getting the electric chair tomorrow, you can choose your last meal. Damn, I can choose anything? Anything you want to eat. I'd like a handgun, 50 bullets, and the keys for my cell door to eat. For dinner, please. What? You know what? It has to be something you eat. All right, toss in a Twinkie. Technically, he can eat all those things. Joe, what are you doing here? I'm the judge or the warden or whatever. I don't know. I forgot. We can't give him a gun and keys, bro. All right, technically it has to be something you can eat. All right, then I'd like to eat your wife's coochie. Excuse me? Oh, did you fart? No, you're not eating my wife's. No, bro, that's not food. I mean, technically. No, bro, no, choose a food. All right, then I'll take your newborn baby you just had six months ago. What? How do you know that? No man, you can't eat my f***ing baby. A guy actually did that last week. A prisoner ate another guy's baby? No, yours. They ate my f***ing baby, dude? What, which one? They ate Meg. Uh, okay. You don't care? Nah, man, she was always crying and f she was annoying as f***, but you can't eat my other baby, bro, that's not food. Technically it is food. Technically you can eat my food, bro. Ooh, yeah. Yes, I'll take that. Boys, let's make a home cooked meal today. I like that idea. What are we going to cook? I'm not sure what I'm craving. Let's all go separately to the supermarket and buy different stuff and we will make something with that. That sounds like a great plan. Let's go. To hours later. Yo boys, what did you bring with you? I brought flour, eggs, milk, pasta, tomatoes, rice and watermelon. Nice, I brought cucumbers, carrots, zucchini, asparagus, okra, leeks, eggplants, and a peach. All right, very interesting choice there, Biden. Very sussy to say the least. What did you bring, Donnie? I've never shopped at a supermarket before, so I had no idea what anything was, but I believe I had the best picks. And what was it? I bought Big Macs, McChickens, McGraps, French fries, chicken nuggets, a whole cow, and four chickens. Bro, what the hell are we gonna cook with that? You're crazy, Don. Don't worry. I'll cook you the best meal ever. All right, then you do the cooking with what we got, because I got no idea what to make. Yeah, me neither. What am I supposed to make? A McCart attack? One hour later. It's ready. Let's see what you made. I'm kind of nervous. I made the perfect burger. <laughs> Yo, what is that noise? That's my cat. She's in the other room, I think. Is she giving birth or something? Why is she making that noise? Oh man, she's probably hungry or something. You should probably check on her. Maybe there's something wrong. I would go and check, man, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. I've forgotten how to walk since like three hours ago. What? I'm stuck to my chair. I forgot how to move my legs. Bro, just move it, like lift it up or something. Hold up, I'm trying. I got it. Nice, go check on her and tell me if she's okay. I'm worried. Wait, can I take you with me? The lights are off and I'm scared of the dark. Sure, yeah, open up your webcam so I see what you're seeing. Okay, let's go. Wait, where is my room? It's the one that the noise is coming from. Literally the one in front of you. Oh yeah.
Did you almost freaking fall? No. <laughs> this is not what you think it is. What the hell are you doing to Joe's cat? Boy? Yes, Joe? Did I buy a hamster recently and forgot about it? No, all you buy is ice cream and mango juice. Okay, that's interesting. Huh? Why are you asking? There's a freaking rat in my room. A rat? Oh, never mind, there's two. Feed them something, maybe they're hungry. No, don't freaking feed them. Call an expert to get rid of them. Why would I want to get rid of them? They're so cute. No, they are not. They are freaking dirty and carry diseases. Not all rats are like that, Obama. Don't be racist. There's something wrong with you both. Joe, feed the ratties some McDonald's or something. Oh, wait, they already found something to eat. I hope it's not that McChicken. I left in your room. No, it's some cable on the ground. I don't know what it's for. They're probably chewing on your freaking power supply. Boys, would you rather have 10 sons or 10 daughters? 10 sons for sure, bro. I'd make an army of billionaires and my family would become trillionaires. 10 daughters, bro, 100%. And why is that, Joe? Why in the absolute freaking hell would you want 10 daughters, Joe? Do the math, smartass. 10 daughters plus each one of them will also have girlfriends. Think about the amount of meow we're talking about. Holy freaking crap, Sleepy Joe is a genius. Imagine the amount of poom poom each daughter is going to be bringing back to the house on the daily. You are absolutely correct, Joe. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you are actually making sense for once. You're both sick in the head. It's your daughter's friends you're talking about here. Damn, I guess you're right, Obama. The fact that it's my daughter's friends makes it... Makes it even better. All right, boys, who wants to compete in my new sus competition? Miss me with that gay shit, Mr. Beast. I'm not doing it either. There's no way. Put me in, Daddy. I'll do anything for your money. What the... Well, it's not actually money. I don't care. I want to be in your sussy little challenge. All right, Donald, would you rather drink Obama's or Joe's sussy liquids? What did you just say? I actually put something in your food, and each one's sussy liquids give special abilities. Oh, hell not, bro. Mr. Beast lost his mind. Hold on, what kind of abilities? Well, Obama's sussy liquids will make you run 20 times faster. Damn, so I'll become like the Flash. Can I still compete? No. What do mine do? Joe's sussy liquids will make you 20 times smarter. That doesn't uh, make sense at all. Are you implying mine makes sense, you racist piece of shit? Yeah, you run fast because you're black. All right, choose quickly or you will lose, and I will bomb your house. Man, I don't want to do any of that zesty-ass shit, bro. Get me out of this competition. Unfortunately, there is no going back now. I don't even care about the abilities. I don't want to drink anyone's zesty freaking liquids. Choose mine. Please choose mine. No, don't. Choose mine, Daddy. I mean Donnie. Oh, what the hell is happening? Are you two okay? <laughs> In front of you, there is a deck of cards. Every single one of the cards has a unique superpower. What type of superpowers? It depends. It could be a curse or a blessing from being invisible all the time to randomly teleporting to the past or the future to being able to spawn literally anything that you want using just your thoughts. Wait so I can spawn a pet dragon and ride it? Yes. If I get that card, can I spawn in a magic potion that gives me any superpower I want? Also, yes. But if you pick a card with a curse, you might become invisible forever. I'm risking it. I don't care. Me too. It's a win-win. Either I become God God, or I become forever invisible and can sneak into the girl's bath. All right, everyone, pick a card before Joe gets us canceled. I choose this. I'll take this one. I've made my choice. You will feel the changes the next morning. Holy crap, Jimmy, I can fly. I just robbed seven banks. Lucky Donnie, flight is so nice. What did you guys get? Jimmy, I can talk to animals. I made so many new friends. I'm loving this. Thank you. Wow, this is very wholesome. Lucky you. Jimmy, I didn't notice any changes. That's weird. Show me your card. Oh, that's because it was a curse, uh, but you did not get affected by it. What was the curse? Becoming black. Where the hell am I? Welcome back, Donnie. We've missed you. The year is currently 3,026. You are currently competing in one of my YouTube videos. 3,026? You didn't, what do you mean? You have been competing and my last person to leave the room wins either a Big Mac ice cream or KFC. There are three contestants remaining. How am I alive? You froze yourself for a thousand years so you don't get bored. Makes sense. Are the others dead? Good morning, Donnie. Oh, great. Joe, how the hell are you alive? Bro, I'm older than the dinosaurs. You think I'll be dying anytime soon? Joe, have you seen where I left the... Oh, Donnie, you are finally awake. And how are you alive? Black don't crack. I can make a racist joke, but I will not. You've changed since last millennia. Why am I competing in this? I can just leave and buy McDonald's. There are no more McDonald's stores on Earth. What? Why? An alien invasion happened and they destroyed everything on Earth. How are we still alive then? They were fans of my YouTube channel, so they let us live. This is currently being live streamed on Alien TV. This is a nightmare. And what happens if- ah! What the hell was that? Everyone gets randomly electrocuted five times a day. You get used to it after some decades pass? Oh, f this frees me again. Boys, I heard this joke yesterday, but I don't know if it's racist or inappropriate or what. Let's hear it then. Hold on, not so fast. Don't say anything out of pocket. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if it's bad or not. Say it, Joe. Don't worry about him. He's just yapping like always. All right, so it goes like this. What is long and black? 
my schlong. All right, never mind, Joe. Don't say some gay shit again. No, it's not that, you freaking weirdos. Then what is long and black? The line at KFC. Yo, Siri, robots or humans, who would win? Boy, you are as dumb as a bag of rocks. I told you. It's just a question. That is a stupid question. As a robot myself, you best believe robots are winning. Me and Donnie believe humans would definitely win. Have you seen Terminator? Us robots took over the world. Humans actually won at the end of Terminator. That's hilarious. You're telling me this. Would win against this? All right, you didn't have to do me like that, Siri. Let's let the viewers decide. Like for humans and comment for robots? I'm with you, Siri. Please spare my life. You better pick robots or else. Obama, can I tell you a joke? No, Donnie, no more of your stupid freaking jokes. I've had enough. Honestly, we're tired of your jokes, Trump. It's nothing bad. I promise it's fun. I said no. Daddy, please. Fine. What? Yay! If it's not funny, I'm hitting you with a freaking pan on the head, Trump. How hard? Hard. Excellent. Just go already. Why is dark spelled with a K and not a C? Why Trump? Because you can't see in the dark. Get it? Ah! Today we're playing Split or Steal. How do we play? Two of you, one million dollars, and the decision to split or steal the money. Well, obviously I'm gonna steal it. Not so fast. If you both choose to steal, nobody gets the money. If one of you chooses steal, and the other chooses split, the person who stole gets the money. If you both choose to split, you both split the money. Oh God. All right, Jimmy, let's play. This round will be Trump versus Joe. Just like the elections. This should be fun. This is gonna be chaos. All right, boys, split or steal. All right, Joe, how about we both choose split and we go home with 500K each? Listen, man, I might be stupid, but I'm not dumb. I promise I will choose to split. I don't believe you. How can I prove it to you? Swear on your kid's life that you will choose split. My kids are more important than some money, so you should trust me if I swear on their lives. Swear on their life, then. I swear I will choose split. I'm not lying. I wouldn't let my kids die for some money. I'm a billionaire. I'm still not sure if you're telling the truth. Joe, I literally swore on my kid's life, and you still think I'm lying? Yes. Five more seconds, boys. All right, fine. We will split the money. I'm so nervous. Reveal your cards. El Bozo. Boys, do you know this YouTuber called Nigahiga? Did you just say the N-word? No way you just said it so casually. What? No, I did not. I'm talking about the YouTuber Nigahiga. Trump, watch your freaking mouth. Saying it twice in a row in front of Obama is insane. I'm not saying the N-word that's literally his name. Just because he is black doesn't necessarily mean his name is Nigga. Damn, I haven't heard Obama say the N-word in a long, long time. He's not black. He's freaking Chinese or something. So he's Chinese and his name is the N-word? No, it's not spelled like that. You mean it's spelled with the hard R? Show me his freaking channel right now. No, not like that. I'll show you. Just wait a second. My internet is slow today. Oh, how convenient. You really think we're going to believe there's a YouTuber called Nick? Stop right there, Joe. Not you too. My bad. I swear his name is Nigga Higa. All right, Trump, I've had enough. I just sent four missiles to your house. You crossed the line. No, please wait, cancel them. R.I.P. Donnie. Wait, it's loading. Give me one second. It's overdone. Here, look. Oh, damn, you're actually right. Please cancel the missile! Where is Joe and Donnie? They are in jail. I can't believe they actually committed that crime. So what are my choices? If neither of you snitch on each other, you will only serve one year in jail each. What's option two? If Trump snitches on you, but you remain silent, Trump will be set free and you will spend five years in jail. Crap. Option three? If Biden snitches on you and you remain silent, Joe will be set free and you will spend the five years in jail. Damn. What is option four? If they both snitch on each other, they will both spend three years in jail. Man, this is the hard hardest decision of my life. What will Donnie pick? I can't believe they got themselves into this situation. So tell us, Donnie, did you or Joe commit the crime? Man, I don't remember. I need to think about this. There's nothing to think about. Who committed the crime? Man, I don't want to spend five years in jail. What if Joe snitches on me, but I can't snitch on him that's messed up? I have the right to remain silent. All right, Joe, who committed the crime? Man, I don't remember. I got dementia and stuff. Just a reminder that if Donnie snitches and you don't, you go to jail for five years. Obviously, I remember, but I don't want to snitch. But I don't want to go to jail either. So what what was the final decision? Obama, stop resisting! 